Ever since Philip Hue supported Matter, I was always hesitant to change the way I was bringing my HomeKit integration because that was already good enough. So why change what isn't broken, right? Oh, and to make it even less appealing, when Philip Hue added Matter support, you couldn't do adaptive lighting. And that is a feature that I really, really like. For those that don't know, adaptive lighting is a feature that when you turn on your light, it adapts throughout the day from cool to warm. And that was a huge selling point for me, thanks to HomeKit. But don't worry, some time ago, Philip Hue added adaptive lighting support through Matter, so you can still enjoy that feature. And now, recently, they released something that a lot of us have been waiting for, and that is being able to explore your scene through Matter. So before, if you had a scene that you like to use from the Philip Hue app, you couldn't carry them into your Apple Home app, making you have to open their app every time you wanted to enable that effect. And with their latest app update, version 5.52, it is possible. And before I show you, if this doesn't work, stay tuned because in a minute, I'm gonna show you what I did for my setup to make mine work because my Hue integration to HomeKit was not through Matter and it won't work that way. It has to be only through Matter. Okay, so the way you do this is you go into the Philip Hue app and I actually have two lamps right here. We have one in my living room and another one in my bedroom. So as you can see, sometimes Matter is not the most reliable one, at least from my experience. I know with uh, the native HomeKit uh, integration it's a lot better I mean look I turn on the light and it's still not on I don't know why sometimes you got there you go sometimes you have to hit it a couple times um, that's just something that I've noticed in the past uh, couple of days but I created a zone so I can control all three light bulbs so the way you do this you go to scenes scenes gallery and you find the one that you like let's say I want to do uh, Let's say I want to do this one, the fall harvest. We go to save scenes and now we have it there and it's going to do this thing. But now right here where we have those three dots, we have a new option now it says add to Apple home. So when you click there, it's going to give you the type of name and it's a scene added out to Apple home. So now if I were to go to Apple home, you get to see it right there. So we just exported from the Philip Hue scene gallery into Apple Home and you can control it with automation. You can press it yourself. You can turn it off and all the lights will turn off. Now, like I said, this only works through Matter. So the way, best way to do this is you go to settings. If you wanna confirm, you go to Smart Home and it's gonna say Apple Home even if you have it through Matter. So I knew that I had it, so I have to go to the settings and unlink it from my Apple Home. And I even have to turn off my Apple TV because bringing it through matter just wouldn't work. So once I did that and there was nothing here, you go to the plus and you go to other apps and you're gonna see Apple HomeKit as an option up here. You don't wanna do it that way. If you wanna do it through matter, you have to hit other apps. And then this is the way you can bring it through matter. You get a pairing code and then that pairing code is where you would type in Apple Home or any other ecosystem that you're trying to bring that to. Um, but as far as I know, exporting scenes is only through Apple Home. So, and that's it. Now tell me, is this something you've been wanting to use? Let me know in the comments down below if you think this is worth changing the integration through Matter or will you stick to the native Apple Home support? Let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.